I'm rather passionate about it. I had a good friend um, out of the Ohio State in sculpture and she came out gay and watching her learn how to accept herself and, and um, come out was a big, was a difficult time for her. And it was, made me realize um, how fragile people are and need support. Um, and what has been your involvement with the LGBTQ community in Baltimore? Um, mostly through the church here um, and, and being involved in the different um, um, gatherings we've had and, and going on marches and um, being active as I can be. Mm -hmm. How would you describe First and Franklin's current relationship with the LGBTQ community? Um, I don't think we're quite as active as we used to be, but but it feels like it's becoming is coming back up again, and um, we we've, we've never. I think that the um, the strength of it has changed in that it's not so much because the church has become more accepting, and we didn't want to become just a one issue church. It's and many of the people who are gay didn't want everything focused around them. That we've opened up the mission to different areas and our and our purpose for different areas too. But but the, um, being open to the gay community is, has remained here. Um, in your time at First and Franklin, do you recall the first time the topic of the LGBTQ community came up? I think Dave Coleman brought it up when he moved to Baltimore. He spent probably a good four months just roaming the neighborhood, seeing who our neighbors were and what the issues were. And he brought it up that, that we have a gay community around us and that we need to be supportive. So David was a, um, a leader in that. Were there any others? Um, I think when he, I think he was the leader and then that encouraged others to open up and, and, and um, become more open about it. And it, then it also drew people from outside to, to join also. Do you recall any pivotal points or other or major events around this topic um, over the past four years? Yeah, I was involved pretty early when we would have um, weekends. Um, we did about three years. We invited people in to, to talk and we spent the whole weekend on different issues of, um, of inclusion in both the church and, and in the neighborhood. And it drew so many people from different churches here because they didn't feel comfortable at their own, coming out their own churches. And I remember um, during the event, just the relief that so many people had when they came here and felt, no, that they were accepted and, and welcomed. Mm -hmm. uh, do you recall when, um, when AIDS first became a subject of conversation at First and Franklin? Yeah, yes. Um, um, I remember us reading books together and sh hearing, sharing stories and just in gatherings. Um, it, was, it was a major conversation among us, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember how First and Franklin responded in any way? Um, I think one of the things I remember first was, was um, Harry Holfelder. At this point, he was here when that was going on. And um, we had never passed, when we passed the piece, it was well, just kind of general talking. And, and one of the big things he d did is that we shake hands to, to show that we, we're not afraid to touch people. So. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. 